Hello, hello, my name is Masha Nuts and I am filming during the day. Wow, I didn't know that could happen. <laughs> no, but truthfully, I do usually film uh, in the evenings or in the nighttime. So filming while the sun is still out, considering that it's not out very often nowadays because it's autumn, is weird. You can barely even see the backlight there. See if I change color, you can kind of get to see it. Oh, maybe I'll leave it on this one. There we go. But yeah, anyway, filming during the day, what a concept. So if you've been around a while, you know that I usually do wrap ups at the end of every month in which I show you what bracelets I made throughout that month. These have been increasingly more difficult to make in the past couple of months since I started my job because I barely make any bracelets nowadays because I either don't have time or I don't have the energy or I don't have the inspiration, I guess, to do them. So I skipped the wrap up for last month because I basically didn't make anything last month. My wrap up this month consists of one bracelet. So instead of making a full wrap up video, I'm going to try to do these challenge videos instead in which I look at the challenge submissions from the last wrap up or challenge video and then announce the challenge for the next month. Because whenever I miss the wrap up videos, it's one thing that I don't really have anything to show you guys, but it's another thing because we host the challenges during the wrap up videos and I really don't want to miss those because they're really fun to do. So with that being said, let's actually have a look at what bracelets you guys made for the last challenge. The theme for the last challenge was any kind of autumnal or spooky bracelets that you guys feel like creating and it's very fitting since I am filming this on Halloween that we are now releasing this video today since a lot of these are sort of Halloween themed but just in general Halloween is such an autumnal vibe anyway. I loved looking at these bracelets especially considering that I never really got to make one of my own although I did make somewhat of an autumnal bracelet I'll show you after this section. The only thing autumnal about it is the colors but you know <laughs> like glass that does that. Anyway I really like these bracelets. Thank you so so much for participating if you did. I hope you have a good time and I'm gonna be announcing the new challenge in just a bit. All right, so this is actually gonna be a super short video, I think, because I only have one bracelet to show and it is this bracelet. I actually finished this bracelet this morning, so just in the nick of time. <laughs> But yeah, here you go, there's a closer look at it. I actually really like how it turned out. And for the sparkly string here, I used the DMC string that I showed you in one of my vlogs that I got in Russia. I think it's sold everywhere, I just happened to get it while I was in Russia. But you guys have been asking me for a review on this DMC string, so I guess here it is. The DMC string is the sparkly orange one, the rest of the strings I think are Gamma, which is a brand that I got in Russia. If you don't know what video I'm talking about in which I showed you guys these, it's the vlog, it's my vlog eight, I believe, or nine, eight. I'll leave that linked in the card and in the description for you to watch if you want to. Uh, there's a whole vlog of me going to the shop and actually buying these. It's a really cool store in Russia. You guys wanted my opinion on this string for a while, but I never got my hands on it and now I finally did. I can't say that I have much of an opinion on it. I found, I can't say that I have much of an opinion on it. It's not my favorite sparkly string in the world because it's not the easiest to work with out of all the sparkly strings that I have worked with. The strands really did separate for me. They ended up like fraying a lot. And then when I had two strings that I had to knot together of the same color, by that I mean the two orange sparkly strings, it was kind of difficult to do that because the fraying strings would then tangle up and they would try to figure out which one came from which strand. It was a bit of a mess. So because of that, it's not the easiest string that I've worked with, but to help with that, you can tie a little knot at the end of the string to stop the fraying at least at the end. So that way you can sort of easier figure out what string it's coming from and sort of fix that problem a little easier. But then that didn't really help me because it still kind of ended up tangling a bit and it was a bit of a mess to detangle. At one point I had to like cut out a piece. And then also there was one situation where I was, um, you know how when you're knotting, sometimes the string of the wrong color kind of peeks through the knot and to fix that, you have to like pull on the string that's the wrong color to sort of pull it out of the knot. I did that and then I accidentally snapped the string off. So yeah, but to be fair, that was my fault. Maybe I pulled a little bit too hard. So now I know not to do that. So just FYI, if you have one of these strings, be careful to pull not too hard. But other than that, I mean, it's good string. It looks it looks really good on in the bracelet itself. The sparkle is just enough, not too little, not too much. Looks really good. As I said, it's not my favorite sparkly string, but if it's the only sparkly string that's available to you, it is a very good option. So definitely go for it if you want to. 
But I did really enjoy making this bracelet. I thought it was really cool. I did experiment a little bit with the colors. This is not usually the kind of color combination that I go for. And this is also not the sort of position of the colors that I usually go for. The sparkly string for me tends to be the outline color. So what the white is here. But for whatever reason, I decided to go with a different color here. Uh, so yeah, and it kind of is an autumnal theme. So maybe I kind of fit in the challenge. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, I enjoyed making this a lot. And this was actually the Patreon not along bracelet that we were doing. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I host these challenges, like the one in this video, for everyone, but then I also host challenges for my Patreon specifically, in which we knot a bracelet together, except I'm the only one who knows the full pattern and I release bits of the pattern every week and we knot those pieces together one by one until we end up with a whole bracelet. So if you want to participate in that, you can become a patron on the lowest tier and you will get access to the chat in which we host this. Anyway, now that this pattern is done, I can actually reveal the pattern itself. So the pattern to this is linked in the description if you two want to try it. Let's talk about the challenge for the month of November. I want to do a bit of a different challenge. These challenges have really evolved. They started off by me giving a specific pattern and us making that pattern together. Then they evolved into me giving like a theme and then us following that theme together. Then there's like a type of bracelet or whatever. Anyway, today I want to try a bit of a different theme. I've seen other people do it, so it's not like my original idea, but a bit of a different theme as in we haven't done this together yet. I want to give you a color combination to do. Let's do a normal pattern, 24 strings and under with blue and pink as the color combination. It can be different shades, so you can have like multiple shades of blue or multiple shades of pink within the bracelet, but it has to be only blue or pink. Okay, I guess white and black can also fit into that, into the multiple shades. So blue, pink, and white and black potentially, but preferably just blue and pink if you want to. So yeah, this is a challenge. This is not a competition, so this is just for fun. If you want to participate, then you can participate on Instagram or on Discord, on my Discord server, the link to which is in the description. If you want to participate on Instagram, take a picture of your bracelet, upload it to Instagram, make sure to tag me in the post and then use two hashtags. Use hashtag not with Masha and not with Masha nov 21. That way I can quickly and easily find your bracelets. If you want to participate through Discord, then make sure to first join the Discord server. The link to that is in the description. Even if you don't want to participate in the challenge, that's a fun place to be anyway, because we talk bracelets and other stuff there. So check it out if you haven't already. And there is a special section for the challenge. There is a challenge submission section and there is a challenge discussion section. So you can ask questions about the challenge and talk about it with your fellow knotters. So two places you can participate in the challenge. I'm not gonna set a rigid deadline for this, but I film my challenge and wrap up videos around the end of the month. So get your submissions in before, let's say two or three days before the end of the month, because that's probably when I'm gonna be filming. Today I'm filming on the day, but whatever and that way you should probably be safe. Anyway, this was a bit of a shorter video, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, and I hope to see your submissions for the next challenge. Thank you so, so much for watching. Before I go, I wanna give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters whose names are gonna be on screen. Thank you so much for your support. If you also wanna become a patron and get exclusive perks for your donations, such as the patron only not along, exclusive emojis on my Discord server, or monthly patron Google Hangouts with me, then you can become a patron via the link in the description. But in any case, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.